Hey everybody, hi and welcome and thanks so much for joining me and the entire Happy Crew for today's video. We're all excited, aren't we, Zena? Hello, can you say hi? There we go. We're all excited about today's video, right? Let's get excited. <laughs> I have a Trunk Club unboxing for you today. I think it's a good one. I'm trying to remember. I actually think in my preview, I took almost everything out. So that means all of this is stuff I didn't choose. <laughs> or I didn't at least already look at and accept. So it should be an interesting trunk this time around. As you know, Trunk Club has moved to the new um, stylist team. So whoever's next in the queue picks up your trunk and curates it. And then once you preview it and leave your notes, the next stylist would pick it up and finish up your trunk, I, I believe is how it works. So you could have several people working on your trunk, even if you leave notes. I notice different people respond. So it's kind of an interesting dynamic for your stylist team that you have going on now. Um, I got really lucky with my last trunk because my old stylist had actually been up in the queue and had styled my box, so it was fantastic. I got a really good one. Um, I didn't recognize any of the stylist names for this one, so this should be an interesting trunk. It is Trunk Club is through Nordstrom. If you use your Nordstrom card, then your styling fee is waived. I believe it typically is $25 if you don't. And um, you keep what you love, send back what you don't. You do fill out a profile, you can request specific things, and the selection is pretty much anything that Trunk Club carries from accessories to formal wear. All right, let's dig in and see how this one goes. I'm excited. It's not too big of a box, so I don't think I got any like boots or anything. Everything does come in plastic, and there should be a pamphlet in here that tells me my pricing sheet has a return label. Let's see some color. Yep. You get like a little envelope in here. It does have notes from your stylist, pricing sheet, as well as a return label that goes right back on this box. It goes UPS. You can drop it off or you can have it scheduled to pick up at your house. So make everything out of the plastic and we'll go through the pieces. All right, everything is out of the plastic, and I realize I have no shoes, all clothing. Let's run through it. First up, Club Monaco basic v-neck sweater in this fun oatmeal color. Kind of a flat bottom. Looks a little boxy. We'll see what it looks like on. Has a banded wrist, banded bottom. It's cute basic. It's thin, so it'd be good for wearing underneath items. Next, I have a jacket by Cut From The Cloth. This is in a fun cognac color. So it is a, it is a moto style. It does not have the zippered um, sleeves. Kind of just has that drapey, asymmetrical zip. It's kind of cute. We'll see what that looks like on. No extra zippers um, for pockets or anything. So it's a little more plain style, but I think it's very cute. Of course, I like jackets. It has, does have pockets, but they're not zipper. Next is this very pretty blue sweater by One State. Has the buttons down the side. The color is gorgeous. Looks, again, like another boxy kind of sweater, but we'll see what this looks like on as well. I'm, I am very much loving the color. Next, something black. Oh, this is a Caslon sweater skirt in black. Got the ribbing, and it has uh, side slits on both sides. Drawstring waist. That's cute. Now I have an Aster the Label blouse with the smocked waist as well as wrists. The color in this is very pretty. 
Love the blues and purples. You guys could see Zena. She's sleeping. Look at her. She's so cute. She's sticking around today. I wonder what's up with that. All right, next up I have Madewell jeans. These look like a high rise button front. These are the 10 inch high rise skinny. They have the raw hem. They do very much look like a high rise. We'll see what those look like on a lighter wash. I don't see any distressing other than the hem. The back. Next up, a dress. This is a sweater dress by Vera Moda. Has a little crossover front. A little bit of a dolman sleeve it looks like here. And then it also has a belt. Cute, very soft. All right, two more. Looks like another dress by Chelsea 28. And this is a nice little knit dress. I like the green color. Has all this fun. Oh, it is a okay, so it is an actual wrap. And then this gathering here on the side. It's short sleeve, rounded neck. That's cute. I'm look I'm excited to see what this looks like on. It is longer, looks like midi length. And last one is another jacket. This is by Free People. It is a velvet. And it has all of this kind of embro yeah, embroidery around the buttons there, down the front. It does have pockets here. And it is lined, fully lined. It's black. Even has the stitching here on the shoulders as well as the back. That's cute. And that's the last item. All right. Looks promising. Let's get to the try on and find out. Okay, first outfit. I have on this Aster the Label smocked top, which does not have a modesty snap here, which I feel like I really need. Then it's all smocked here through the bodice as well as a little bit here at the wrist. And then the Madewell um, high rise jeans. So this is all like really tight. I'll just <laughs> show you a little bit as to how far it goes down, but basically it makes it look like you have a nice tucked in look. Here's what it looks like. The jeans fit pretty well. Um, I feel like I might have a little bit of, of extra room in them. So if I sat down or they stretched out a little bit, I feel like they might have some give to them. But that's just in the waist. The rest feel pretty good. So I might have to let it ride. The top, like I said, I feel like it's going to pull and open. So that's a little bit of a concern. If I kept it, I would probably wear something underneath it. Because I do think it's a pretty top. Um, it just has a different style to it. So I'm not sure that I, the fit is perfect for me. Let me put it that way. Because I kind of like it, but I feel like I would be fussing with it all the time. Here's a closer look. And I just put on the um, Blondo booties that I kept from my last trunk with this. And I think I'm going to try on the um, cut from the cloth jacket with it. So here's the outfit with the jacket. This jacket is very soft, feels more like a cardigan than a jacket, meaning that lots of stretch. I feel like I could wear this over top of a thicker layer. I have some nice room. And here's what it looks like zippered real quick. Very cute. You could close this up a little bit farther and take it up if you wanted to. It's a very cute jacket. I do have room in it. I don't like things that high on my neck, so it would stay a little bit lower for me. And obviously it looks really nice over this particular colored top, I think. 
Here's the jacket a little bit closer. It is that suede feel, it does have the side pockets. I like it when you want a um, jacket in this nice cognac or whiskey color, this, is, this would be a nice one. You could also lay it under a coat if you were going somewhere and it's really cold outside, but you wanted to have a layer. Um, once you take off your coat, this would be a nice one. Hopefully that made sense. All right, let's talk pricing. It looks like I have a tag here for FedEx. I'm surprised about that. Usually everything trunk club goes UPS. Looks like they switched because I have a return label here for FedEx. That's good to know. Pricing. The 10 inch high rise skinny jeans are $135 by Madewell. Yikes. Um, the smocked waist top $59. The Carolina faux suede drape moto jacket by Cut From The Cloth is $89. They're actually calling this brandy. That's the name of the color. All right, let's get to another outfit. Next up is the little v-neck. It is kind of a boxier cut, but not bad. It does come in closer to the body. It is pretty much just a basic. It is thin enough that it would be nice for under jackets, which I think I'm going to try it on under the black jacket just to see what it looks like. It is very much the color of my skin, so I'm not sure that this particular color is doing anything for me. But it is a great basic sweater. The price of this one is $89.50. Yeah, this one is $89.50. Pretty sure, yeah. All right, let's turn on with the Free People jacket. I now have the Free People jacket on over top of it. Definitely thin enough for that. So it would be great, the sweater would be great for underneath jackets. I'm just not sure I really enjoy like this color for me. The jacket is cute. Um, it is definitely a um, allure. It does have all of this fun detail down the front. This jacket came in both red and this black color. I wasn't sure about the red because I thought it would be too holiday-ish and I would only want to wear it you know, in December and not any other time, so I'd swapped it for the black. So I'm just sharing in case the red appeals to you more. Um, the sleeves are a little long for me, as you can see, so it's covering up a good part of my hand here. And I'm not sure how I feel about it. What do you guys think of this? I'm going to button a button here just so you can see how much room there is and how it has that little, like, placard, um, for the buttons and how it has the little piece here that is open. But I do have room. Get closer so you can see it. Because I do think the detail is very pretty. I'm thinking that the size might be a little bit off for me. It also has that little bit of a gathers here to make a little bit of a poofy sleeve but I'm not so sure that this fit is right for me. But I like it. All right, we'll do another outfit. Next up is the sweater and sweater skirt. This does have a slit on both sides. This is very, very comfortable, drawstring, easy wear. I feel like you could dress this skirt up or dress it down. Tennis shoes, heels, I just put on a mule. So I do feel like this skirt is super versatile as far as how you could wear it. The sweater is a bit boxy. It does have the button detail down the sides. Let me get a little closer to make sure you guys can see that. The color is the best feature, I think. I think the buttons are nice, but it's just okay. I really like the color. I'm not sold on the sweater. Um, it's okay. The prices for these, the skirt is $79. It's the ribbed sweater midi skirt by Kazlan. And the crew neck sweater by One State is in deep sapphire is $89. Yeah, I don't think I'm sold on it for $89. But it's cute.
All right, first dress I have on is this one that has the little kind of tulip effect in the front and the gathering on the side. This is a fun dress. Look, makes it look like it's a little shorter in the front, longer in the back. Here's what it looks like. I'm kind of liking it. It has the scoop neck, kind of a t-shirt dress look to it. A knit fabric, comfortable. I feel like, again, you could dress this up or go casual. It'd look just as cute with uh, tennis shoes or a flat as it what does with a heel um, and really dress it up for a night out or a trip to the mall. I think this is a cute dress. I like it. This might be my favorite item so far that I've tried on. And how about a shout out for the princess here staying through the whole video? What's up with that? <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like the color. This is a nice color for fall. And I can layer all kinds of different toppers up with it. Long cardigan, cardigans, jackets. I think it'd be fun to play with. All right. How much is it? Maybe I should see that before I get too excited. This is the side ruched jersey dress. They're calling this blue and it's $55.30, the cheapest item in my trunk. And so far, I think my favorite item. Let me get a little bit closer. And we only have one last item to do. Last item, the black dress. This is a sweater dress. It is a dolman sleeve. You can see it gets a little tighter as we get down to the wrist. It's a nice length, has the tie uh, matching belt here. And this is a nice warm dress. So this would be great for the colder temps. However, um, it is kind of the cross front and I think I would definitely have to wear something underneath it or pin it just for safety, making sure we don't have any wardrobe malfunctions. So there's that. Otherwise, I kind of like it. It's, it's a very nice, comfortable, it would be an easy packing dress. Again, versatile. I like that I think I could do many different looks with it from wearing high boots to wearing heels to wearing a more casual shoe. So I do like that about it. but I definitely feel like I would need to do something here at the top. I usually do not like the dolman sleeve, but I don't really mind it in this dress. And yeah, I would love to hear what you guys think. What, how does it look on? And let's see how much it is before I, <laughs> before I get too attached to it. What do you think, Dee, huh? This is by Vera Moda and it is $69, so not a bad price. And that's the last item. So overall, not a bad trunk by my stylist team, I don't think. I think they were um, trying to style me in pieces that they thought I would enjoy. And considering I had taken out, I, I took out probably six of the 10, might even more, might have been seven of the 10 items that I, they had originally put in my trunk. And I think I ended up with nine. Yeah, I ended up with nine items that now. And um, so they basically had to start from scratch and I didn't get to, to see any, any of the items before they sent them to me. I think they did pretty well. As far as what I think m might be keepers, maybe this dress. I'm really liking the other dress, so the second dress. And it's easy, you give me kisses. And I like, of course, the cut from the cloth jacket. I'm not really sure about the free people jacket. But let me know what you guys thought about this one, how it looked on. The rest, I'm not so sure about. I did like the sweater skirt, but I think I probably have a similar skirt, so I'm not sure I need to keep it. And the jeans, um, I liked. However, I think that they were a little big in the waist, and I don't want to size down because I thought the rest of it fit well. That's what I'm thinking right now. 
Please share your favorites down below. I will list all these items down below with links in case you want to check any of them out for yourself. I will put my link to Trunk Club down below in case you want to give this service a try. If you use my link, you'll get $50 off your first box and I'll get $50 off my next box. And I'm so happy you spent a little bit of your day with me today. This was fun. I would love you to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. Please hang out for the long haul. Hit that subscribe button. And if you already have, thank you, thank you, thank you. Till next time, everybody. Bye-bye.